Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Knowledge Hub. Let's learn together. Today's topic is slum test. We will see the details of slum test. Slum test means is done at site to access the consistency or the water content or water cement ratio of fresh concrete at site. Whenever we have seen also at many sites surrounding you, whenever concrete is done initially, the slum test is can taken. We can see the sketch of this slum test. It is a slum cone, it is a level, it is a roller, it is concrete and we can measure this slum. Slum test to fresh concrete, slum test is to measure uh, fresh concrete to workability. That is as per Indian standard double one double nine nineteen fifty nine. This test is also known as slum cone test. Slum test measures the consistency of workability of concrete. It is also used to check the workability of fresh concrete. Uh, for the easy placement of that concrete or pouring of that uh, concrete. This test indicates the water cement ratio, the properties of materials which are used in concrete and also the admixtures used in concrete. Slum test can be done on site to check the concrete mix has expected fluid properties this test can also be used to measure the consistency between the individual batches when the concrete is ready to pour for each and individual batch slum test is done it is a very simple and low cost test prepared at a laboratory as well as at site also during the work it can be carried out from batch to batch to check the workability of fresh con fresh made concrete now workability. The concrete workability is the property of freshly mixed concrete which determines the homogeneity, the placing, mixed and consolidation and finished. Means it is very how it is easy to place that concrete that shows the consistency. The water cement ratio, amount type of aggregate and cement admixtures and the weather conditions are the main factors which affect the workability of concrete. The sample of slum test. Concrete and <coughs> having different mixes with suitable water cement ratio can be prepared at site or casting the cube after conducting the slum test. The sampling of this test performed is under the following rules or also guidelines. There are some in, in, standard guidelines international as well as Indian for American society ASTM standards ASTM C 143 or ASTM C 143M the American Association of State Heavy and Transportation Officials AASHTO standards ASHTO 1319 or ASHTO BS 1881 British and European standards BS EN 1235.02 and Indian standards as per IS 1199-1959. Now we check the size of slum cone. The cone is open at both ends, top and bottom. The bottom diameter is more as compared to the top diameter. The standard size is cone internal top diameter is 3.9 inches that is 100 mm and bottom diameter is 7.9 inches that is 200 mm. The cone height is 12 inches or uh, 305 millimeter. Metal tamping rod is 5 by 8 inches that is 16 mm in diameter and 2 feet or 600 mm long with bullet nose. The surface of the whole apparatus must be dry or clean. Now we will see the equipments. We can see the to all, all equipments in this sketch. 
this slum cone, this is rod, this is trowel, this is brush and this is a trick. Now we will check one by one. The mold. The mold is, the mold shape is in cone. The cone is of Bramsau uh, cone or slum cone. Slum cone is made of aluminum, plastic or steel. The surface must be dry. The friction free surface. A tamping rod. This is a tamping rod which is made of steel. This is 24 inches length and having diameter 5 by 8 inches which is 16 mm. This is base plate. Base plate may be made of polymer, aluminum or steel. It may be equipped with a holding attachment to lift the plate up. This is trowel. This instrument helps to lift the concrete up and put into mold. This is steel measuring tape. The standard measuring tape is right? the slum value measurement. This is brush. This brush is to clear the last remaining concrete left on the mold. Now we check the slum test step by step. Now first step. Place all the apparatus parts together. As I have shown in last slide, all apparatus. Place this together. By using a trowel, put the fresh concrete into the mold and then the Tamping or compaction is done for the first layer. The tamping with rod is done 25 times. Now second step. The second layer of concrete is added into the mold. Again 25 times tamping is done with the help of rod. Third step. Now third layer of concrete is added after proper plant tamping. Again 25 strokes were done to do proper compaction. The excess concrete was removed from the above. Step 4. In first step, the cone was lifted upward properly and cone lifting angle must be 90 degrees. Care should be taken that the stone should be lifted properly vertical by 90 degrees. The fifth step. The value of the slum was noted with the help of measuring. After removing that cone, we have checked its value of the slum with the help of measuring tape. This is a slum cone, this is a concrete, and this is the difference, and this is the slum, exact slum. Now we will check different type of slums. Zero slum. Zero slum. Now we can check this zero slum by this sketch also. This test is indicative and very low water cement ratio, which results into dry mixes. This test is mostly used in road construction works. A slum occur when the value of slum recorded is below one by four inches. It is in this concrete is very stiff, stiff or extremely dry consistency. True slum. We can check the true slum by this uh, figure. This measurement is taken from the top of the concrete when the con slum cone has been removed. The true slum is considered as more desirable or as compared to the shear slum. This test is mostly used for checking up the consistency of lean concrete. In true slums, the concrete subsides shortly and maintains its cone shape. More desirable slum. Shear slump. We can check this by this sketch. Shear slump. The top portion of the concrete surface slips sideways and the shear of it is known as a shear slump. As you can see this in sketch also. If shear is achieved in this concrete, achieved in this concrete, then a sample should be taken and repeat this test again. The concrete may have a little more water cement ratio. As per mixed design or water content may be more as and lack of cohesion of the mix. Collapsed slum. 
and you can check the collax the slump by this cage also this test indicates that water sediment ratio is too high that means water content is too high it means concrete is with high water body and high concrete mix this um, test is not appropriate that concrete may be rejected also or uh, this test is taken the retaken then again if it comes collapsed then this concrete may be rejected it is high water cement ratio high water quality and low concrete strength now we can check the work quality uh, how the work quality is uh, checked with the slums very low work quality is 0 to 25 mm it is used as dry mix concrete design low work quality is 25 to 50 mm slab it is low work quality concrete mix design and medium medium work quality 50 to 100 mm slab it is a medium work quality concrete for mix design high work quality it is 100 to 175 mm it is high work quality concrete mix design now we check the factors affecting the concrete slab test which may, there are major some factors which affect the concrete slab test mixing batching and transportation of concrete how you mix how you batch or how you transport that concrete what is the lead what is the distance from batching plant to your site it also affects the uh, slab concrete slab temperature of concrete techniques and sampling of concrete slab testing how do you check the slab test you should be you should be take You should, you should take that concrete slab test accurately. Water cement ratio of the concrete, size of aggregates, 10 mm aggregates, 20 mm aggregates, moisture, the moisture content of aggregates, cleanliness of aggregates, fineness of materials, air content of concrete. so these are the factors which affect the concrete slum test that was that's why what we check that slum test is very major and important for the concrete if the slum required is proper then we will allow the concrete to pour otherwise the concrete can be rejected so this slum test is taken at every batch of concrete to check the work quality of consistency of concrete so you can understand the importance of slum test in this slide so keep watching my channel and if you have any comments please comment like share and subscribe my channel thank you